Hey, this is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple, and I'm here to show you the different things that you can do with the stream and classwork within Google Classroom. All right, so right now we are located in the stream, and if you click the plus button at the bottom, you can either reuse an old post or create a new announcement. So if you want to create a welcome back announcement for the beginning of the year, you just simply click post. Now you can also add an attachment. Maybe you're attaching a syllabus directly from your computer. Maybe you're attaching some sort of document that you want them to view. You can also add something from Google Drive. And my, one of my favorites is you can embed and insert a YouTube video directly within your Google Classroom and your announcement. So if I just go to YouTube here and just type in welcome back to school, it's just gonna search through YouTube. I click on one of the videos and I haven't even viewed this yet, but I'm just gonna show you just for tutorial purposes. I click add and then it adds it to this announcement. Pretty cool and a pretty unique way to get students involved. If you wanna add an, a link to an external resource, you can do that as well. And then just simply click post. And you can see that it posted right there. It's very much like a social media site for education. If you ever need to edit it, delete it, just hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner of that post. You can add a class comment if you forget to add something as well. Okay, so that is the stream in a nutshell. Real quick, it's just kind of a quick hitting uh, piece of information that you can give to your students about the upcoming events or something that they need to complete for the day. Now if we go to classwork, that's going to be where we are going to create and assign work for our students. So if you click the create button, we can create an assignment, question, reuse post. So if you're gonna create an assignment, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you either create a topic or just keep it as no topic. You create your title right here. Your instructions are completely optional. And then I like to change my point values to make it more specific to what the assignment is about. If it's gonna be something like a quick short answer, I don't wanna make it 100 points, just maybe five points. You might need to do an attachment or a YouTube video, link, Google Drive. Just, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want to add to this. And you can just give those quick, short, brief instructions. When you're ready to assign this, you just go ahead and click the Assign button, and it will automatically assign it. But if you click the drop-down tab, it will allow you to schedule that post or save it as a draft. But I'm just going to click Assign so that you can see what it looks like. I gotta make sure I add a due date real quick here. So I made that due date for tomorrow. I click the assign button and it goes right into the classwork portion. Now if I make a topic specific, maybe like week one or something like that, that would be a good way to coordinate and make sure that you organize your assignments. Now if you wanna just ask a simple question, just click this, the question button and this is where you're just gonna add your question. It's very similar to creating an assignment, but just know that the icon is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little question mark instead of the clipboard assignment. And really what's going on here is we're just going to create a quick question for our students to answer. And you can either change it from short answer or to multiple choice. And if you want students to reply to each other, make sure that that purple, um, in this case, that toggle switch is turned to on. And then just click ask and it's as simple as that. And if you click on it, what you can do here is you can see, you can view the question or you can see who has turned it in. Um, so it's really nice to be able to see who has worked on the assignments that you have assigned to your students. All right, so if you like tips like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can get more tips like this sent directly to you. This is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple. We'll see you next video.